Good morning, fancy friends. How are you on this wonderful, wonderful Thursday? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my page. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's, and come on in and join me today. We're going to do part two of this tray that I started yesterday, and um, so far it's looking gorgeous. So this was a vintage tray that I purchased at an antique store in my town. So this, we did this yesterday and then we're going to do part two. And if you're watching this, um, if you don't see that red line button there on the corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, let me know you're here. And then also, if you're new to the page, let me know that you're new so I can say hello and welcome you. Hello, Melody. How are you? Hello, Diane and Pam is here. Etta is here. Hello, fancy friends. Hello, Mary. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody had a blessed evening last night. Grab your coffee. Grab your tea. Hope maybe you're still in your PJs. Come on in and let's do some creating. Good morning, everybody. Um, here in New Jersey, it's a freezing cold day. It's only in the 30s. It went down to the 20s tonight, so I got a sweatshirt on, <laughs> so it's a little cold. Hi, Diane and Donna. Good morning, everybody. All right, so let me recap if you did not join me yesterday. I did, had a silver tray that looked like this. That I, is it? Look at that. I still didn't have to do the bottom. Look, it's got feet on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I painted it in an antique white uh, Italian ivory by Pink Couture. Um, we did some dark, we put some dark waxing on here. We use this gorgeous paper. Hello, Aria. Hello, Emma. We use this now. I already took a piece of this paper. This is what I mean. These papers, you can, you don't have to use them as the whole thing. You can cut them up and use them as, you know, different projects. Like if you want to take this rose or that rose. So I took a rose here and out of there. Um, but this is from Decoupage Queen. And this is the name of the paper. Wow, where is it? Here we go. Um, they, she sells a bunch of different um, companies. So this is Colombor. Take a screenshot. So if you go to Decoupage Queen, go on their hamburger menu, you have to look under that name for this paper. And it's DGR176. But <laughs> LOI, I was, I was painting my walls. Were you painting walls? Wow, that's a big job. I did my bedroom once. Boy, that's a big task. So anyway, there it is. That's the paper that I used on there. All right. And so then we decoupaged it on there. And if you just left it this way, it's still absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Hi, Robin. But we're going to, you know, here on yesterday's tomorrow's, we got to make it a little bit more fancier. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to crackle this. I know, Lisa, isn't that paper pretty? It's just gorgeous. Now, this paper is really cool because you could either... Um, some of the papers you could only use it certain ways up or down or sideways. This way you can use this one you can use both up like that, or as I'm using it today, on the side like that. So this way, this one you can use either way. Hello, Kathy. Charlie 90s in Washington. Oh my god, hello Sonia. Um, yeah, it's freezing here in New Jersey today. You need literally you need like a winter coat. So woo! But it's coming. The warmer weather's coming. All right, so now we're going to do the crackling, guys. Hello, Luann. Hello, Lori. Good morning. All right. She's looking for the auction items. Still looking for the auction items. Hold on, Kathy. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> Keep looking, Kathy. You're funny. You crack me up. All right. Um, this is what I'm using today. This is my favorite crackle medium. Um, if I'm just doing a farmhouse crackle, guys... Don't get me wrong. I love the farmhouse crackle where you just um, put the Elmer's glue down, but that gives you a different kind of crackle. This gives you more like a porcelain, oh, you know, uh, antique finish that you're not going to get from Elmer's glue. Oh, there we go. So it's Pentar Fine Line Crackle. It comes in two steps, so you oh never forget which step to put on. Step one, step two. There we go. And this also you can get on um, Decoupage Queen. You're not liking the cold weather. I know it's freezing here too. Hello, Pam Hicks. How are you? All right. So for the sake of time, guys, because it takes forever for the things to dry. Yesterday, I put on coat one. Okay. And let me show you what it looks like inside. Um, hold on. Let me. This is a brand new one. I had to open. There we go. All right. If you can see what it looks like, it almost looks like the consistency of Mod Podge. It's a little bit thicker. Christina, you love it. Me too. You haven't tried it yet. You gotta try it. It's great. This stuff is great. There we go. See? 
beautiful. So you put a coat of that on. It's the same thing when you're doing um, with the Elmer's glue. The thicker you put it on, the bigger the cracks. They're not going to get as big as, you know, they're not going to be like the same um, idea as the Elmer's glue, the cracking, but you're going to get bigger uh, crackle. If you want the smaller condensed, the littler crackle, then you want to just put on a thinner coat. There we go. But that's what it looks like. And then you got to let it dry. So I didn't want to put this on and have it go here and let's just dry this, blah, blah, blah. So I put a coat on that coat of this on last night. This is just like if you're applying a top coat, um, uh, you know, your decoupage medium, you put it on the same way. Thanks, Pam. So now we put on that. This is what does the magic. Step two, and this is what's going to give you the crackle. So let's go. Let's go. Continue on with that. All right. Let me get a brush. Um, and then what else did I want to tell you about that? I'm trying to think. I think that was it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have any questions, you could always private message me. Can it be thinned out with water? No, Angie. Do not thin it out with water. You will. Um, you'll the, the the formulation. You'll ruin the formulation that makes these two products. Um, work together. Do not thin it out. And let's see. Hello, Sonia. How are you today? I appreciate you stopping by. All right. So we're gonna, now we're going to put the fine line crackle varnish. You put this on, you hit it with your heat gun. Now the fine line, real quick, the fine line crackle varnish, you can do it with your heat gun. It, they recommend you letting it dry on its own. Uh, I've done both. Um, but t t yesterday I did put it on and it, I just let it dry by itself. So, but they recommend that. I'm just letting you know what the instructions recommend, but I have done it where I put this on and I've dried it with the heat. Oh, another thing, let me, before I forget to tell you, when you're putting this on your surface, your surface needs to be ex bone dry. Do not put it on anything wet. If you've decoupaged your product, your piece, whatever you're putting on your project, um, it's got to be totally dry. The underneath where you put your decoupage medium, it's got to be dry. If it's not dry, you're not going to get the crackle. It doesn't like moisture. This product does not like moisture. So make sure that you let this dry completely. So I let this dry for hours and I even hit it with the heat gun um, before I did it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies. Um, and made sure it was completely dry before I put step one. So whenever you're going to put the step one, it, your project has to be completely dry if you if you decoupaged it. If you just, especially even with the paint, if you painted it, your project, the paint's got to be totally dry. Make sure that it, if your paint feels wet, if your paint feels cold to the touch, that's an indicator that it's probably not dry. Um, the layers underneath are not dry. So make sure before you put coat one on that um, it's dry. <gasps> Is this paper on your site? No, Sonia, no, it's, um, I am an affiliate for Decoupage Queen and it's on there. If you look down below, guys, if, uh, let me know if you're down below. Is there a link for Decoupage Queen? Let me know. I'm an affiliate for Decoupage Queen. Um, I have some papers on my site, but I don't have that paper. So the ones that I'm not, I don't carry, I'm, I'm using my affiliate code for Decoupage Queen. So let me know, guys. Um, in the comments, do you see my uh, link? Sometimes Facebook puts it on there, sometimes it doesn't. Thank you, Vicki. All right, so let's put this on there. So it should be a link below. And I would appreciate, guys, if you would use my link if any of the products that I'm using. The link is there. Thank you, Luann. Um, Decoupage Queen, you can find this on there too. So any of the products that I'm using, if you would mind using my um, affiliate code, um, I would appreciate it. Is this medium new? I think this has been out there for a while. Thank you, Angie. The link is there. Yay, the link is, link is there. All right, so you can get the Pentart on there. You can get the paper on there. And um, I would appreciate you using my link. That's how I get That's how I get to keep doing these projects for you, all you ladies, um, by using the affiliate code. So thank you so much. Thank you, Selena. And if guys, I did a, the step one I did on a live yesterday. So if you want to see how I exactly did this yesterday, just go on my Facebook page and the replay is there. It's Pentart Fine Line Crackle. That's what we're using today. All right. So let's get this on there and let's get going. And then we're going to also use a wax paste on there. All right. So good morning. Jill, how are you, sweet friend? Your, your, um, your furniture that I just saw is amazing, my friend. Thanks so much for coming on. 
Jill and I saw now you are with Roy Cycle Treasures. I am so excited for you. That is wonderful. So excited. My friend Jill, if you don't follow her on her page, go follow her. Jill, put in your link. Jill's creation. She um she's a furniture artist. She's not a furniture painter, she's a furniture artist. And she um she's now a um oh what do you call it, Jill? Content creator for Roy Cycle Treasures. How cool is that, guys? Right? That is really cool. All right, so now I'm just putting this in there just like that. You're welcome, Jill. Yeah, go uh, see my friend Jill's creations. You want to see furniture painting? Somebody came on yesterday was asking me about furniture painting. If you're on here today, go look at my friend Jill's page. She's not a furniture painter. She's a furniture artist. That, there's a difference. I was just a furniture painter. Uh, she's an artist. She makes furniture look like pieces of artwork. It's just amazing. All right, so now we're just getting this on just like this. And you just put it on. I'm trying to get it into all the nooks and crannies up here on the sides. So this is step two of the Pentart. Fine line crackle. And you just want to put it on. And you want to make sure you get it everywhere. Make sure you're in a well-lit area so you can make sure you get it on there. Because if you miss a spot, you're not going to get a crackle. All right, so I got my light show in here. So I'm pretty good to see making sure that... Um, I'm getting it everywhere. Let's see. Hello, Helena from Portugal. How are you? How was Portugal today? How cool is that, guys? We have Portugal in the house. It's so cool to see how many people that we have coming from different countries um, come to yesterday's tomorrows. And um, I'm just humbled by it all. I just am. Portugal and we have uh, Australia. And we have England and um, a lot of from, a lot of our fancy friends are from Australia. Okay, so we're just getting that on. Whoop. There we go. And then all you do now is you watch the magic happen. Now this, they tell you to definitely do it with your heat gun. You have to do it with your heat gun. If you don't do it with your heat gun, it's not gonna work. It needs heat to make the crackling effect. So this, you absolutely have to do it with a heat source. Uh, I saw somebody once that they tried to do it, um, just letting it dry by itself, and guess what happened? Nothing. Literally nothing happened. There's not a, one single crackle in it. So it's the heat. you got to do the heat to make it crackle. Good morning, Susan. How are you? Hope everybody's doing well. <gasps> and we got from Louisiana. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not get your message? Okay, I will um, I will look again and um, answer you. It's Decoupage Queen where I get this paper from. But I will try. I will go back and I will see. Usually I try to answer all my... Um, I'm sorry. I usually try to answer all anybody who private messages me. And I must have missed it last night. I apologize. I didn't get to my messages last night till almost 9 o'clock at night, guys. And uh, by that time, my brain is fried <laughs> after the day. All right, so I'm just going through the light and I'm just seeing if I'm missing any spots here, guys. If it looks dry, I'm just adding some. There we go. I'm just looking. I'm missing a spot here. So you just really want to make sure that you didn't miss any spots because if you did, you're not going to get a crackle. And I think that's looking. Okay, I think that's fine. There we go. Thank you, Helena. And we have somebody from Ontario. Oh, you just sent me the message. Okay, that's why. Yeah, I usually just, I said this yesterday. If you send me a private message, um, unless I have some time, free time during the day, which usually it's not, um, I I look at my mess, private messages at night or, or, any, or any emails um, or I try to get back to some of the questions that are in the lives here. So, and remember, if you if you answer answer a question in a lot, if you answer a question in a live, sometimes Facebook does not show me every single question um, that's there. They might not post it at the end of it. So, um, make just make sure that if it's a question you really want answered, private message, you'll definitely get answered. All right. So now we're going to dry it, and we're going to now let the magic happen. So now's the time. If you got any questions you want to ask me, ask me. 
um because now we're just waiting for this to dry thank you for the hearts everybody i appreciate it that makes the uh algorithm and facebook say party's going on at yesterday's tomorrow so let's get some more people on there hello marcia thanks for coming on all right you know what i should probably get i have my other heat gun the big one the big kahunas and when i'm doing a big project like that get this out and so it'll dry a little faster but you live in lisbon near the sea helena how beautiful <laughs> angie always a party here that's right oh to make sure guys this weekend this weekend it's craft around the clock celebration party and that's going to be a party it starts friday evening and it lasts till sunday early afternoon i believe don't quote me but um, we are celebrating Craft Around the Clock's uh, 50,000 um, followers, and we are celebrating in our PJs. So um, I'm going to be on with, uh, we're, we're, mo most people are um, pairing up with someone, and I'm pairing up with my good, good friend, Grace, from the company Ness. So if you don't know who she is, please um, go and follow her and we're going to be on 8 15 central standard time on saturday in our pjs kathy wants to know where did you come up with the name yesterday's tomorrows um kathy i firmly believe that my mom's passed away and um she's passed away about she's 20 20 years now and i firmly believe that she sent that name to me um one morning um i woke up and I was thinking of her. I was not thinking of a name to name my company whatsoever. Was not. Was not. And all of a sudden I was thinking of her and the name popped into, into my brain. So it just came in. So I believe that my mom sent me the name. And that's how it happened. That's how yesterday's tomorrow's happened. I wasn't thinking of a name for my company when I woke up in the morning. I was thinking of my mom. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, um, she sent me that name because how else would I have thought of it? How else, why would I even have that in my mind when I'm thinking of her, right? So, uh, that's how I thought of, that's how yesterday's tomorrow's came. So thank you, mom. Yes, right? That's, uh, that's what happened. That's what happened. Hello, Gray Barn. How are you? We got Gray Barn here. I, I missed the live yesterday in at Gray Barn, but I just went saw the went and looked at the replay. Ah, oh, yeah, great stuff, great stuff. <sighs> right, Kathy? I believe absolutely because why else? Why? I, how? I don't know any other reason why I wasn't thinking of a name that morning. I wasn't even thinking of my business. I was thinking of her, and then the name came, and then that was it. And there was I was you know, I said that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the name. All right, guys, I see some crackling starting. I creep crackling, guys. It's, there we go. Ah, oh, I see the crackling. Okay, so now we just wait. This is, the, this is why I did step one first, guys, because could you imagine if you had to watch me do this twice? <laughs> so that's how the name came to be. So if you have any other questions, shout them out, guys. Shout them out. Hello, Sandra. Yes, I'm glad you caught me live today, too. Yay. But didn't this come out beautiful? And then my sister got me another tray the other day. At a, um, she was, I asked her yesterday, where'd you get it from? She said a garage sale. And it has the feet on it, but it's round. And she said the lady had a bunch of stuff just thrown on, the gra on her front lawn for the garage sale. And it was just sitting in the grass. And it was a dollar. A dollar. Hey, Terry. How are you, sweet friend? Terry, did you go for your um, proceed? Did you go for your testing yet? Just wondering, guys. Crackling is happening. Ah. Uh. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Catherine. Thanks for joining. I know, guys. This is like you know watching paint dry. So this is why this is this is when we come and we just sit and chit chat like girlfriends. So if you have any questions, now's the time. You don't even have a private message me, just unless it's something private. Um, you could just ask me. 
I can see the crackling starting it right here, guys. I see it. This might take a little bit because this is a big tray. I should have got my big heat gun. But yes, you're waiting to hear. Okay, Terry, remember you're all you're in all of our prayers. And remember, and the power of prayer works. What's for dinner? Tacos tonight, Angie. <laughs> it's tacos. Taco Thursday, right? <laughs> Taco Thursday. I wanted to do something where I could make ahead of time. So I made the meat last night, and then I just have to go get some lettuce and tomatoes, and then we're done. So tacos tonight. What is everybody else having for dinner? <gasps> oh, it's the, the task of thinking what to make for dinner every night is to me is exhausting. <laughs> she should, Luann. She should. <laughs> Good morning from sunny and hot Pacific Northwest. <gasps> You're having Joe's homemade stromboli. Oh my goodness! I, we gotta be neighbors one day, Terry, so we can um, I could come over for dinner every night. <laughs> yes, Dana, this is the same tray I was working on yesterday. So if you just joined me, let me recap while uh, we're waiting, waiting for this to dry. This was a silver tray that I painted in an antique white. I used Italian ivory by Pink Couture. Uh, blah, blah. Do I have some? Here we go. Just so you know what Paint Couture, the products look like. Okay. I use Italian Ivy from Paint Couture. Um, I use Decoupage Queen paper. This is the paper. Let me show you real quick. That's the paper that I use. Isn't it beautiful? I already, this is another sheet I had that I kind of, you know, I use it on another project. Pork chops. Oh, Luann, I love pork chops. I love pork chops on the grill. They're good that way. Um, hello, Anita. So, let's see. We painted it with Italian ivory. We um, decoupaged it um, with that um, paper from Decoupage Queen. This is, my decoup this is my decoupage of choice. Love decoupage medium, pink couture. You can find this at All Pay Products. It's listed under my link tree. And if you use the code YES10, you can get 10% off your entire order. <gasps> Stuff shells. Oh, okay, Marsha, I'm coming over to your house. <laughs> uh, Virginia, she says she's over it now too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Oh, I can't stand thinking of what to make for dinner. Oh, I said, and I say to my husband and my son, what do you want? I don't care. Oh. <sighs> That's not an answer. I don't care. It's not a food group. <laughs> right? All uh, right. So that after I put the paper down, then I added, um, I put a clear wax over the whole thing first, and then I added a dark wax. Now, the clear wax and dark wax I used were Andy Sloan. You can use of your choice. Mm. Liver, onions, and bacon. I've never had liver. Never had liver. So but let's go to Marsha's, right, Virginia? Marsha, you're having company. All right, so then we use the dark, the clear wax first, and then the dark wax. You always want to put a clear wax over your piece first. It gives you room to groove before you put your dark wax on. You put your dark wax on, especially if you're using a chalk paste. I mean, a chalk um, paint. Chalk paint wants to suck up um, whatever you put down because it's dry. So if you put the wax paste, the white clear wax over it, when you put the dark wax, it won't suck it up and you'll be able to move it and make it lighter or darker um, on your project, if that makes sense. And now, now we're using fine crackle medium to make a crackle. Ah, uh, Luann, that's funny. <gasps> that's funny. Serve them a plate of I don't care, right? <laughs> I know. I don't care. You know, one, one, you know, one thing it's easy, you know, they don't care. Whatever I serve them, there's never, oh, we're having this or whatever. It's, you know, I never get that, but boy, it's just an idea. You want to hear something when my, when my dad was alive? Um, my stepmother said, listen, my, my dad's name is John. John, make a list. Please make a list. Monday through Friday, what you want for dinner, and I'll make it. Because I don't mind cooking, I just can't think. So my father actually made a list, Monday through Friday. And then my stepmother said, okay, now I know Monday's soup, Tuesday's stuffed shells, Wednesday's stromboli, Thursday's pork chops, right? 
So, um, and some people were like, what? He made a list and you're doing that? My stepmother goes, are you kidding me? How easy is that for me? And I said, I agree with her, right? Just make me a list. I'll cook anything you want. But just, oh. Guys, the crackling is amazing. It's coming, guys. I know you can't see it, but it's coming and it's almost done. It's come beautiful. So you really have to hit it with the heat. Remember, if you do not hit step two with the heat, it's not, um, it's not gonna crackle on you, FYI. You can't just let it sit and it's gonna crackle. It's got to be hit with heat. I know, Shirley, it wasn't such a neat idea. Well, then my father, <laughs> and then my father goes, all right, you wanna do the same for lunch? <laughs> And he did. He was only sandwiches, you know, or something like that, or soup. But oh my God, and my step my stepmother loved it. She really did. If she she if sometimes she watches my lunch. She's gonna get a kick at me telling that story. It even gets old, even though we love cooking, right? I know I love to cook too, Terry. I love to cook. It's my second passion besides, um, you know, creating you know these you know projects and stuff like that. But. Oh, you know, on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, you're just like, what the heck? So that's why I, when I was shopping yesterday, I saw chopped meat. I'm like, tacos it is. It's easy, and I don't have to think about it. Nothing's worse than it's 5 o'clock, and you haven't defrosted anything, or you haven't thought about anything, and now you're like, now what? All right. Now, another thing, guys, when, when you're doing this... Um, don't be tempted to put your fingers in. If you put your fingers in it, you're going to get a, just like when you do the resin pour, you're going to get a fingerprint and you're not going to get the fingerprint out. What are you cooking tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. I don't know. I might be pizza tomorrow. They can't complain when they picked it. That's right. That is exactly it, Luann. So that's why I'm like, make a list. But they don't even want to make a list. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, I said, my mom, it doesn't matter. You know, guys, wait, uh, when I bring this up close, wait, you see the crackle in this. It just came out literally amazing. It really did. So I don't know what I'm cooking tomorrow. Sometimes um, Friday's pizza night and we must just go to our local pizzeria and order pizza. I, but, um, oh, maybe you're saying, what am I cooking for? Um, I forgot tomorrow is foodie Friday. Foodie Friday, I'm not sure yet. I've got a couple things in mind. I thought you said, what am I making for dinner? Uh, I've got a couple of things in mind. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's going to... I have another dessert that I would like to show you, but I don't know if you want two desserts in a row. So... Hello, Tanya. How are you? Yeah, so tomorrow's Foodie Friday, guys. So I have another dessert. I don't know. I, you saw the dessert yes last week um i don't know if you want another dessert or if you want savory there we go and mr fancy will be home again maybe he'll be able to try it if it's something that he can try right away or maybe my son will try it i don't know good morning swanky vintage with carol how are you hello gloria all right so i'm gonna this is this should be pretty much dry guys I just want to make sure Look, the crackling came out simply amazing. I just want to make sure. See, if you have a light, if you have a light shining on it, it's it's you can see it a lot better. You can see the crackling. So this stuff is really good, guys. I've tried other pro products that say crackle finish. And you know, guys, I only tell you what I believe and what I've tried. And I, I, don't, um, I don't just try to promote a product to sell it. I only sell it if I swear by it. But this is the best crackle that I have found. And if I find something else that I think is better, you know, I would tell you guys. I absolutely would. But this is by far the best. Now they have, this is, they come in this size or they come in a bigger size. At the bigger size, you get a little bit more um, bang for your buck. But um, I just, I didn't realize they had the bigger size. I just ordered some bigger sizes for myself and they should be coming, I think, tomorrow. Um, but if I, if there was a product I know out there that was better, I would tell you. But this stuff is just amazing. All right, so let me show you. Woo! 
<gasps> let me see. Just want to make sure. It, yeah, it's crackled. All right, let me bring it up close, guys, and you can see the crackling. Can you see? Uh, I don't know. The light, I don't know. Can you? Oh, there we go. See the crackle, guys? Whoa. Let me get that back there. There we go. Can you see the crackle in there? There we go. Look at the crackle. What? Look at that. Pentart. It is by Pentart, guys. Can you see the crackle as I'm getting, like, there we go. Look at the ring light. Look at all that crackle in there. God, can you guys let me know in the comments? Yes, you can see it. I just want to make sure. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. You, there we go. The ring light, you can see all the crackling there. See down there? Look at that. It's beautiful. <gasps> Amazing, guys. Love this product. Okay, now what you want to do, this is metal. Now I just got to let it cool down for one minute. All right, so now I like to use, um, hold on a minute. I got the wrong stuff. Um, you can use wax, the wax paste on there if you want to. Um, but I like to use, hold on, let me show you. I got the, I picked, I grabbed the wrong thing. Hold on. I like to use, there we go. Uh, I like to use when I'm doing the crackle, I like to use, um, the antiquing paste. They're different. Um, the wax paste, hold on a minute. Let me see. I think that the, the antique paste goes in the nooks and crannies a little bit. You can see it. Yay. <gasps> goes in there a little bit better, but you know what? But I never tried the wax paste down there. So now I'm afraid. All right. So let me, I'm just going to try a little ed because I really like the little, the lighter, but I know that the antique paste goes in there better than the wax paste, but we're gonna try it. We're listen, we're gonna try it. So we're gonna try a little a little bit on the edge. Alright, so let me get a paper towel and you just swirl it in with the paper towel. Put it with a brush. Let me get my brushes. Um let me see. Alright. Alright, so let me just put a little bit on there with my antique paste because I really like this color. This color is called gold wax paste. This is also by Pentart, guys. Try a little corner. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Terry. I'm gonna try a little corner. I need to order, I need to order, I thought I did. I thought I ordered that in the gold, what? But I guess I didn't. Okay, so let me just try a little corner, see what happens, see if it gets in. The, the, the cracks are so fine, you need something thin for it to seep down into the cracks, if that makes sense. So let's try it. <gasps> it works. It works. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. What? All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It works. It works. All right, so we're going to use this. All right. Because I don't want it. This one, for me, was a little too dark. I didn't want to darken up the paper that much. If you can see the reason why I, I didn't want to choose this one. This one's a little bit lighter. So I have to order this antique paste in, they, I'm sure they have it in a lighter color, but I don't know, this would seem to be working fine. All right, then you just take a little artist brush and the same thing when you're doing like in the details of your, um, of your edges here, when you wanna do it in a swirling motion so it gets into all the nooks and crannies, the same thing when you're applying your antiquing wax or paste, you gotta, get it down in there, even go in and dab it just like so. Guys, wait till you see. Oh, this is just going to bring it up a notch. And then we're going to do, then what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go over the edges with this too. Now, if you really wanted to get a little bit more, if you wanted to make sure that this is not going to ruin, if you wanted to put like stuff on it that, you know, that was going to be, have moisture on it, you can do a resin pour on here, even if you wanted to. Okay, and then you just rub just like this. And there we go. And once you go like that, once you get some on there, you want to get to the clean part, just like when you're doing your wax. You want to get to the clean part. All right, so let me push, put you up there and let me show you what's happening. There we go. Can you see the, look at the crackle, guys. Look at that. 
balls. This thing is heavy. <laughs> Good morning, Elizabeth. This thing is heavy. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going in here and we're gonna get the rest of it all, all the done. This is working well, okay. I did not, you know, when I'm watching um, the woman, Teresa from Decoupage Queen demonstrate it, she was recommending that I use the antique paste that goes in there a little bit better into the nooks and crannies. So um, I'm just following her instructions because she knows this product inside and out. And, but this is working well too. I just was afraid that one's gonna be a little bit too dark for me. And I didn't want to darken up the paper. I just want to get into the nooks and crannies of this. Here we go. So pretty. Guys, I, guys, get yourself some of this fine line crackle. You're going to fall in love. I'm telling you, it just brings your pro project up a notch. So now you see the crackling. Yeah, when it's... You have to put something inside the crackle or you're not going to see the effect of it. So um, when you purchase the crackle, pick out, you know, get us yourself a wax paste or one of those antique pastes um, that you think is going to be a color that you're going to use a lot. Just so, because you got to have something to fill it in or you're not going to see the crackling. It's just, um, it needs something to get in there to accentuate it. Accentuate it. There we go. I'm gonna bring it, bring it up a little bit closer. We're almost now. This doesn't take long at all. It's just beautiful. Look how pretty. Oh. Okay, let me see. Have to go find a surface and try it. Luann, you need to try it. And Luann, if you have when you're doing it, if you have any questions. If you're stuck on something, just private message me, and um, I can help you with it. If you if you get stuck on anything, but or just rewatch my videos and um, and see what I did. It there, it's easy. It's easy. It's just it's a little bit time consuming. That's all. Um, like I said, you can dry the step one with a blow dryer if you wanted to. Um, I'm just letting you know that Pentart says. Let it dry on its own. I'm just giving you the manufacturer's um, suggestions. But I have dried it, you know, with a, you know, um, with a blow dryer. And, you know, it seems to work. The only suggestion I do give everybody is you've got to make sure your surface is has no moisture on it. Or it will not work. It has to have no moisture. Only suggestion that I can make sure that you guys know not a suggestion it's yeah you have to do it or otherwise you're not going to get a crackle and this part two has to be done with heat i've seen people let it dry overnight and nothing happened to it you have a paint inlay oh luann i've never tried you know i too have a paint inlay but it's a christmas one. Oh, maybe i'll use it for christmas in july guys i have a paint inlay from mara and um, from IOD, and um, I have to try that too. I, I, I got it at Christmas and never got a chance to use it. Okay, so let me bring that up to you guys, and you can see, oh, it's so beautiful, guys. It really, really makes a difference with the crackle. And then we're just gonna put a little bit on the edges too, but let me show you. <gasps> there we go. What, oh, hold on, okay. Hold on, there. <gasps> Can you see now? Wait, where are we? Look at the crackling. Isn't that so pretty? It just brings it up a notch. It's gorgeous, guys. Just simply, simply gorgeous. So, so pretty. Then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna, a little here, and I'm, we're gonna go over the high points of this, just so it matches the inside there. And I just go over, just with the high points, with your finger, just like that. 
and this makes a world of difference too. Just take a little bit on your fingers. You can dip your fingers in, but if you have nails, you don't want to do it because it gets in, it'll get inside your nails. Ugh. So I just put a little bit down on a piece of paper right here, but a little bit goes a long way. You just want to, I'm going to show you, you're just, you're just trying to hit the high points and you just put it on your finger. Now with the brown wax, it's not like in your face, you know, where you're like, oh my gosh, um, look at that wax they put on, you know, the gold wax. It just enhances it and just makes it, it just makes it so much prettier, so much prettier. It just matches the inside, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? It makes me want to go get the one my sister just got me and do another one. There we go. This is going to be so pretty. There we go. And then let me just spray that up a little bit more. Better we can see. Can you see the little, can you see where it's shiny a little bit? And there is where the, it's, the gold is enhancing it. Thank you thank you robin thank you carol yeah it's um you know it's the it's when you're doing a project sometimes it's just the little details that bring it up a notch i say the little details that makes it fancy right just makes it fancy and and with this it's just this wax so the wax i'm using today if you want to purchase this one is called it's um it's the wax paste Pentart wax paste in the color gold, guys. And I'm telling you, you get this container, you'll have this for the rest of your life. <laughs> you use, I mean, you use it so sparingly. Um, you'll have it forever. So pretty. All right, let me turn this around this way. Just like that. And you get these high points. The detail on this tray is just beautiful. I, um... I told the lady from the gray barn to keep an eye out for silver trays. <laughs> she did. She had one yesterday on her auction, if you saw it. But it went. It sold. It sold. There we go. All right. Just So you just want to hit it on the high points. If you just go like this across it, you'll be hitting it on the high points, guys. That's all you want to do. And I think I got it all. Now the wax doesn't have to be, now these waxes do not have to be top coated. Um, give them, I don't, I don't wanna say the wrong thing, but I'm saying 72 hours to cure and this will be on there for good. They do, after you put these waxes on, they do not need to be top coated. Just give it 72 hours to cure and um, it will be totally fine. No need to top coat or do anything, these waxes top coated itself and I think maybe I just go just around just a little bit on these edges right here the little curves of right here yeah just like that just the little curves that are inside see the little curves right here I'm just hitting them with a little bit of this wax too just to accentuate them and that'll make it all uh, match there we go. See the little curves that we have inside the here? Um, just hitting the high points of those two. Just, just very little, just to accentuate them because the detail in those little curves on the side are really pretty too. You can make, you can go crazy with this waste, I mean this uh, wax stuff. But you don't want to overdo. I don't want to overdo. Um, I just want it subtle. There we go. So I'm just hitting just, just a little bit, just the curves around there. So right now here, if you're looking, if you're seeing what I'm doing, I just took a little with the pop, popsicle stick and put a little bit on a piece of paper right here, my crafting paper. And that's why, where I have the, uh, and if I have any extra, I'll just, on my paper, I'll just put it right back into the container. Just like that. Here we go. 
No. And I think that is it. I think that is it, guys. I think um, I think we did it. Let's see. <gasps> hey, Beth, how are you, sweet sister friend? Oh, hold on a second. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beth. Happy birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, Beth. I'm glad you came on so I can sing to you. Hope you had a blessed birthday, my sweet friend. <gasps> Love you. <laughs> happy birthday. Hope you had a great, great day. Oh, we got to say happy birthday, guys. Beth, I'm glad you came on. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. But isn't that coming out gorgeous, guys? Let me get it closer. Look how pretty. <gasps> isn't that gorgeous? Look at that tray. Look at the crackle. <gasps> Look at that crackle. Yay. Yay. <gasps> oh, you're welcome, Beth. I hope you had a blessed and wonderful birthday. Hope you had a great day. Thank you, Susan, for wishing Beth happy. Everybody wish Beth happy birthday. Something in a fancy mansion. Well, there we go. It's in, <laughs> it's in a fancy, it's in a fancy friend's house. <gasps> Hello, Pat. This is a piece of paper, guys. It's decoupage queen. <gasps> decoupage queen paper. Let me, where is it? Okay, here it goes. Um, down below, you see a link for decoupage queen, guys. And this is the paper right here. If you go into decoupage queen, hit the hamburger menu. You will see that this name right here right there okay and um you'll see uh this company's paper right there there's no name on it it's d dgr 176 but isn't this pretty and see you know you don't have to use it for one whole thing you can cut them if you see i i cut something out for a project <laughs> elizabeth you can't hear me oh i don't know why um uh, maybe if you go out and come back um then you can hear me better but this is the paper. And if you guys, if you don't mind using my affiliate link, um, if you're going to order from Decoupage Queen, I would so appreciate it. Um, that's how um, I get to keep doing what I'm doing here by using you guys using the affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more money. And um, I just get a little percentage of whatever you purchase. And I get to then buy my supplies and keep showing you wonderful videos. It's okay now? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so, and then I'm just rubbing again just to see if I have any excess that's coming off on here, but I think it's, you, know, you can see now, a little bit right there, but not much. Just go over if you see any excess, but it will cure 24 hours. This whole thing will be cured, or 72 hours. Well, most of it's been sitting for another a day already, but, um, but the, all the waxes that I put on, Give it 72 hours. You don't have to put a top coat on the waxes. They will cure on their own. And it's Pam's birthday too. Pam, is it your birthday? What will you do with this? I think I'm gonna put this in my dining room. I'm gonna put this in my dining room. I think it's gonna be so pretty, Terry, in my dining room. Hopefully I'm getting my dining room repainted, but um, I'm gonna put it in my dining room, I think. Is it Pam's birthday, guys? Let me know if it's Pam's birthday because I might have to sing again. <laughs> Let me know. Pam, is it your birthday? Guys, when you come on, let me know it's your birthday so I can sing to you unless you don't want me to sing to you. <laughs> that might be uh, that, that might be the case. Excuse me, guys. I need some iced tea. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Mwah. Thank you so much. And it's Pam's birthday. Okay, I'm going to sing to Pam. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pam. Happy birthday to you. Mwah. Happy birthday, ladies. <gasps> May birthday, ladies. Yay. Ah, oh, that was fun. I don't get to sing that many times on my, on my page. Thank you. It was May 10th. Yeah, there we go. Only a couple of days ago. It's your birthday. Yeah. Would love to see this in a vignette. I'll, I'll take a minute. I'm going to be taking a picture of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Hello, Sandra. How are you? First time watching. Paula. Everybody, welcome, Paula, to our page. It's our first time watching. Paula, first time you come. You, newbie, second time you come. You are a fancy friend. So second time you come on, automatically, fancy friend. And you and you uh, you become part of the family. Oh, you're welcome, Pam. I hope you had a blessed birthday. And uh, God bless you with many, 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 many more. 
Oh, thank you, everybody. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. All right, ladies, I'm going to let you go. We finished the, our project. I'm sorry. I still have to look at that. I didn't finish the feet in the back, but I will finish that. You guys don't need to see me do that. But didn't that come out gorgeous? So pretty. You did good. I'm glad you had a great birthday, but it came out beautiful. Look how pretty. So guys, you can do this. It wasn't hard. And if you have any questions, just uh, replay the videos again and watch me do the step-by-step -step and you can do it. One good thing about replays, and I do this too, if I'm watching somebody and I want to see what they're doing, I, I, have my, I have my project, I watch them do it, I stop it, I do it, hit it again, what are they doing for step two, I do it. So that would be a great idea to do for my videos if you want to try this. Hello, Paula, you're welcome. Please come back. Make some beans with rice with those tacos. I am. I am. I'm easy. I like the, the in the box, the Goya rice. <laughs> it's good. It's good. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Tomorrow, guys, remember, tomorrow is Foodie Friday with our fancy friends. So um, I'm not sure of the time, but don't forget, Foodie Friday with our fancy friends is tomorrow. Remember, this weekend also is... Um, Starting Friday evening is going to be a uh, craft around the clock PJ celebration. Ah! So come and join us for that. I'm going to be on with my good friend, um, Grace from the Comfy Nest. Me and her are tagging up. Um, Beth, I, you're going to be on. I'm, I know. I don't know who you're going to be with. But um, it's going to be all weekend, and it's um, crafting in your PJs. And we're celebrating Craft Around the Clock 50,000 um, followers. So come and join us for our celebration. We are so excited. Our sweet friend Tracy Campbell, our fearless leader, um, has made an amazing group with Craft Around the Clock. And um, I am so honored and proud to be part of that um, Part of that. Um, group and um it's just amazing the friends that i've met and the ladies i met in texas it was wonderful so we're all going to be doing in our pjs me and um um grace are going to be on saturday 8 3rd 8 15 8 15 central standard time 9 15 eastern standard time saturday morning you see me in my pjs you're going to see grace in her pjs and we're going to be doing some crafting so it's and it literally is going to be going on in the middle of the night. So if you are up in the middle of the night, can we come in our PJs too? Absolutely. You have to, Pam. Everybody's got to come in their PJs because <laughs> you're going to have crafters literally live at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. It's not, it's not um, recorded video. So they're going to be on. And so if you are up and you can't find any, you know, there's nothing good on TV ever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not a big TV watcher unless it's Turner classic movies, but, um, Come and uh, join Craft Around the Clock. If you don't, if you do not belong to Craft Around the Clock, please go join. It's a free page. And then our um, friend Tracy will be streaming the videos in, and you can watch them live all night long. So it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. Cheryl and I are on at ten thirty Eastern. St oh, so you're almost okay. So sh you're going to be on almost right after me, Beth, because I'm on. I'm on at nine fifteen. I think 9.15 or is it 9.30? I have to check. But I'm going to be posting a post. So you might be right after me or right after that after me, Beth. <laughs> we love Turner Classic Movies. I love Turner Classic Movies. They had great ones on Mother's Day. I can sit and chat with you guys forever. <laughs> Listen, if you if you come on my page, guys, we're, we're all about you know, doing, creating and crafting, but we are also all about chit-chatting like girlfriends. Well, you have no idea what we're going to talk about. It could be Turner Classic Movies, what we're making for dinner, the price of eggs these days. I don't know, but we're, so if you like to, if you like to create and chit-chat, this is the place to be. So thank you, Paula. I appreciate it. All right, guys, if we can please keep our fancy friends in your prayers, I would just so appreciate it. Um, please keep Terry, uh, who's on here. Keep her in your prayers. She just had some testing done yesterday and she finds out the results soon. So keep her in your prayers for good results. Um, please keep uh, Terry's uh, granddaughter also in your prayers. I would love that. Keep, um, uh, oh, Cindy, um, her um, 
grandson just um, was killed in a tragic accident a couple of days ago. So please keep our fancy friend and craft around the clock friend um, in your prayers too. And um, God knows who needs them. If I'm forgetting anybody, I apologize. I apologize, but God knows who needs them. All right, everybody. I will see you soon. I will see you tomorrow for Foodie Friday with our fancy friends. All right, you go out and have a blessed day, everyone. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. All right, everybody, I'll see you soon. Bye.